Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, where we tackle productivity, tech, and AI tools like a pro. And today we are diving into the top 10 co-pilot features in PowerPoint. Everyone's been in the situation where you start at a blank PowerPoint, not knowing where to start. For this scenario, Copilot has your back. Just tell it what you need and it will create the presentation for you. In our example, we are going to ask Copilot to create a PowerPoint about the benefits of Copilot in PowerPoint. Let's see what Copilot will make of this. And there we have our freshly created PowerPoint by Copilot. And as you can see, he added some images and some general information. So obviously we can make a lot of changes to make it more to our hand, but it's always good to start with a nice draft to work from. But to be honest, this layout does look a little bit like the one from my primary school presentation. That brings us to the second feature that we're going to discuss today. And this is the design suggestions that Copilot has for us. And you can see that after we've created the presentation, it suggests to go to the designer tab to change the design. So we're going to take a look at the suggestions. And here you can change the very basic layout that it created for us to a layout that looks like it's been designed by a graphic designer, where in fact it's just created by Copilot. And for people that are not as creative with their layouts in PowerPoint as me, it's a very helpful feature. So we're going to go for the second one. Do you have a dense report or a novel length email? That brings us to the next feature of Copilot in PowerPoint, which is the summarizing content feature. All you have to do is paste the long lump of text into the Copilot area and it will create a bit sized presentation in PowerPoint for you. To show the example, I already got myself a long lump of text, which we're going to paste. We're going to ask it to summarize this report into a presentation. And as you can see, we got our text with the question to summarize it and create the presentation for us. And there we have our presentation, again with the option to change the slides into the designer area. But instead of a long lump of text, we now got ourselves a presentation that we can use. So if you're ever in need of a good looking presentation and you are attached to a specific set of content that you need to use, just paste it inside of the Copilot text area and it will summarize and create it for you. Copilot also has the option to add a stock photo inside of a PowerPoint. So you don't have to go to Google search, save the image to your desktop and upload it inside of the PowerPoint. You can just directly request a stock photo and you can just prompt this inside of the Copilot area. We're going to ask for stock photos of fishes. And there we have some stock photos from the content library and we can just directly add them inside of our PowerPoint. So with this functionality, you can just add as many stock photos as you'd like and you are very quick with doing so. Another functionality of Copilot for PowerPoint is that you can directly ask questions about a presentation. So when you click on the Copilot icon, you can just ask a question. For example, summarize this file or suggest next steps for this file, or you can just create your own one. And for now, we're going to just summarize this file. And now it gives some general information about the file. For example, who created the file, but you can just ask who are all the people that modified this file or anything like that. You can just basically ask Copilot without having to research the file yourself. The next feature that we're going to talk about is the AI powered speaker notes. This will help you making sure you always know what to say in specific scenarios. So for example, if we are going to make a PowerPoint about fishes and we're going to have the subjects introduction, types of fishes, and an end word, we're going to head over to the co-pilot feature and we're going to say generate speaker notes for this slide. And here you've got yourself some speaker notes to get some basics on what to say during the presentation. This will really help you not only set up the PowerPoint slides, but also set up the content on speech. And you can always ask it to be more specific, to really write out a script for you. And this will really help you bringing your presentation to a next level. Another useful tool for PowerPoint in combination with Copilot is the functionality to create a frequently asked questions section for the PowerPoint. So when you're going to the location where the PowerPoint is stored and you click on the Copilot icon, you can select create a frequently asked question. And when we're going to hit this, 
So when you hit this, it will start creating a frequently asked question section for this PowerPoint. And this is very helpful when you want to know where a PowerPoint is about, but you're too lazy to really look into the PowerPoint. You can just ask Copilot, give me some summary, give me some information about this presentation and whether I can use it in my scenario. Something that you can also use with Copilot inside of PowerPoint is asking feedback on your presentation and getting to know what people that are looking to your presentation might ask. So we are going to give Copilot the prompt, what questions might the audience ask about this presentation and see if this gives us any new insights. So based on our presentation, Copilot gave us some considerations and questions that the audience might ask. And this can be very helpful for preparing your presentation and knowing what questions you might encounter during your presentation. So this can really help you up your presentation skills. The next topic that we're going to discuss is the seamless data integration for Copilot in PowerPoint. And for this example, we're going to head over to Word where we've got ourselves some example data inside of a table, which we're going to use within the Copilot feature in PowerPoint. So this is our example database, which is stored on our OneDrive. And now we're going to head over to PowerPoint to use the data inside of this file. And now we're going to ask create the chart. So within the prompt area of Copilot within PowerPoint, you can do a slash to add a document from your OneDrive inside of the prompt area. The name of our file is example data. And as you can see, it's modified three minutes ago. So this is the file that we are looking for. And we're going to see what it brings us. And as you can see, it created some slides within our PowerPoint with some of the information from the file. And as you can see right here, we've got ourselves the table. And as you can see, it's generated based on the actual numbers within the file. So by this, you're not limited to the PowerPoint itself, but you can also directly use data from other files inside of your OneDrive or SharePoint, and you can seamless integrate these data sources. The next one is image suggestion with context because Copilot inside of PowerPoint is able to create a lot of images for you, not just available stock photos, but it's also able to create them himself. So for example, if you need a guy shaking hands, it will obviously start with suggesting stock photos. But when you're asking it to create a picture of a man in suit shaking hands with a pineapple in his hand, it will have to do the work for you. So let's bring this to work. And there it's opening the designer to create the image for us. And there we have our suggestions. So let's take a, a closer look to the suggestions. I mean, I do prefer this one, but it's not really holding it in his hand. So we're going to go for this one. So this is a benefit for creating presentations in PowerPoint, because if you've got a specific image that you need, which is not available within the stock photos, it's possible to create it with AI inside of the PowerPoint itself. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.